Hey everybody, welcome back to another HP Gaming and Game Link video. I'm joined by our junior gamer and our junior junior gamer as well. We are going to be setting up on course, getting ready to tee off and doing all things mini golf as we unbox Pitch and Plaques. Hey folks, welcome back once again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt and I am joined by our junior Charles, gamer. And this is our little Blair. Our junior, junior gamer Blair is back again for more crazy fun. Now, for those of you who watch the teaser and have been watching our Gotcha Backer series and on zombies. YouTube as well, and Zombies as well, Zombie Dice, we won't talk about that one. We are unboxing today, having a look at Pitch and Plaques, which is a mini golf style game where you can set up lots of different courses and have an amazing time in the process. Inside this box are, I know, lots of different pieces, lots of obstacles, lots of other bits and pieces as well. We're going to get into it and show you what's in the box. We also have, because we love you and because we like backing things on Kickstarter, an extra accessories pack, which includes more bridges, more balls. No, I didn't. Surprise. Uh, extra obstacles, extra balls, and... A nice big wow. carry bag to carry everything around so you can play it and take it pretty much anywhere. Uh, what this means is to this game away? is originally designed <laughs> take it anywhere. This game's originally designed for two to four players or one to four players if you wish. We've got enough gear here to play with up to eight players as well, including the aforementioned and wonderful battle mode, which we'll talk about shortly. We are gonna get into the box. Extra bits. Why do I get extra bits? Because I like to make extra courses, extra obstacles, and extra fun. So we've got extra bridges and things and extra as well. Balls. I think once we open the box and go through the components, we might even set up a bit of a course and give you all yeah. a demo on so how it all works. So we're doing an unboxing and a playthrough. I think we should. I think we should. Like, like hey, should we open up the box and get in? Yeah, all right. All right, we'll do that. We'll open up the box. Yeah. Let's come down to the table and we'll show you what's inside. All right, we are down at the table. We have pulled the camera out a little bit more than usual because look at this box. It is all ready to go. It has a convenient carry handle here. Sorry, our junior gamer and junior junior gamer just getting up on their knees so they can see what's going on. So you've got here um, a bit of a flick. It's like a flicking golf game. Uh, and all these pieces are interlocking puzzle pieces, as you can see. And you can use these to flick through the obstacles and try to get to the hole in the shortest number of shots possible. There is a flag. Now also you'll see this symbol here, which is a symbol for pitch and plaques or for plaques. This is an extension of a game by the company Plaques. Uh, and they used to, they've done a, like a, a soccer, a soccer game with all their boards as well. So then they decided they were gonna do one of golf, which is awesome. We've also yeah, got the, look. I know, but you can't flick that. We'll do that with the proper game. This is the bag, the full bag there, which obviously Ooh, fits all the components inside, which is awesome. Pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, so, it's like one of my next colors. We'll see. You know what? I think we've talked enough though. Let's open yeah, this up here. I just wanna get in and play. So this is a bit of a, an look, idea of how it all comes look, together. Look, look, look. And it's got a scoreboard with uh, a bit of a dry erase uh, feature as I well. I hope there's just a pen for it so we don't have to go searching for one. No, no, it's not a pen. It's, just, it's a dry erase. So you use a magic marker that wipes clean. Mm. And then you can get inside, uh, get into the, um, and, and just reuse it again and again and again. So rather than having... I know, we're going to see what's inside. But instead of having something where you have to rip off sheets and just discard them and create more waste, using a dry erase means that it's nice and easy. Oh, look at that. Welcome to the Plax family. Isn't that nice? Welcome to the All right, stand back, girls. We're going to open this one up. Yeah, stand back for it in case it falls on Now, you. something a bit different. We've got plastic that always goes on the floor, but this time we've got polystyrene, but we won't put that on the floor because we don't want the dog to eat it. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go oh, like no. this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. It's all right. And we're going to slide this out across Whoa, here to get all the bits looks... out. Oh, cool. the box over there. Dad, it is cool. Uh, I'll take that one. Thank you. That's a bit of rubbish. We'll pop that over there. And this is how it comes, which is not the most attractive thing in the bubble world. Wrap. Bubble wrap is exciting, though, isn't bubble it, Blair? Wrap. We like bubble wrap. And can use it for all right. Boxing. Now, as we go um, through this, I will let you know as well with the. Um, hang on, girls, hang on. 
with this particular edition, we've actually got a few extras that were packaged in the base box. We upgraded our pledge to include some extra bits and pieces and they were automatically included in the base box. And we got a couple of extra rewards as well because we're backers of the Plax family. <laughs> Just trying to get into it as quick as we can, aren't we, eh? Hang on, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. There's extra bits because there's a couple of fragile components as well, Blair. So hang on a minute. We're nearly done. Oh, plastic, plastic goes. Good job. All right. Oh, well, that's on the floor. That's fine. It's over near all the Barbie stuff. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Yes, well, it's not mine, that's for sure. All right, if we open up these bits, these are all the different components. So this is just one of the fairway tiles that you use to make up, and you can see it's actually quite thin. I thought it would be thicker. Um, and it's got different components, different things. Blair has grabbed the scoreboard. Two, two sides. Yeah, double-sided scoreboard there, and it's a dry erase uh, marker oh, friendly, which is good. And then we've got some instructions and some decals on how to build your very own uh, Plax flag, golf flag. So we might even make that and set that up. Hang on, girls. And then you've got the rules of the game as well. Different components. So you've got mini golf and then match play. And it's all in different languages for all the different folks, which is awesome. Yeah, we're going to go through it all. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's have a look. We've got some corner pieces here. So you really can design the courses any way you like. And if we turn this one over, here we go. We've got another edge piece here. That might be the hole. See, it's got a little hole for the flag. Another no, laneway not... tile. <laughs> I've already started building. Well, hang on. We've got to go through the pieces all together. Mm. So just wait a minute. More laneways there. <laughs> so much stuff. All right. So then we've got... Can I have that piece there, Charlotte? I just want to show everybody what that is. This is like, this is the goal hole. So it's got the hole there. And it's got a little tiny hole here as well for the flag, which you can put together. <laughs> And we've got here the dry erase marker. Charlotte's already building away like a crazy person. Uh, the marker in this box here's got the marker for the board, which is fine. We'll keep that away from Blair. Uh, we have got uh, what looks like a leveler. That's actually quite cool. So you've got here a leveler, which you can use to adjust the table height if you've got a wonky leg. Yep, that's the start one, that's it. So this is where you put your ball uh, to flick it across one. the table, which is great. And another start. So with the two start pieces, you can actually connect the start pieces by one piece and actually make a battle mode. So you can actually fling, um, have, have two people playing at the same time, which is awesome. All right, hang on, before we do anything else, let's have a look at this one here. We have, oh, this is cool. We have a little uh, chamois cloth which helps keep the dry erase board in nick and also polishes the actual um, balls themselves. And we've actually got extra balls and extra feet. So hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, everyone's excited. So these are all, let me just show you these ones here. These are all the different colored balls in different sizes for different uh, size fingers. Now they're not exactly perfectly round and they, that's deliberate. They didn't want them to be perfectly round. The reason being that they'll behave a bit more, a bit more randomness to the game, which is actually quite cool. Well, don't pop uh, the let's wrap, see. Please. We've got here. I'll put these back in there. Blair's popping the bubble wrap like a crazy person, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got these. These are just little uh, table leg levelers and stick-ons, so you can level them and the course as well. And you can actually design the course. That's the flagpole there. So we'll set the flag up. Let's do that now. You can design the course, the course to include jumps as well, which is quite cool. Uh, now, what color green. flag would you like? Red? Um, I think I'm um, green because that's green? my second favorite color. Green square or green triangle? Green triangle. Green triangle. All right, let's do that Cause, now. Because triangle is my favorite shape. <laughs> is it? Yeah. There you go. You learn something new every day. So in this case, we've got this flag here. We've got this flag here and we've got the stick and we're just going to go and pop that in there like that. There we go. Can I see? And the flag is ready for play. And then if we get that end piece there. Ba -ba -da -ba! There we go, all good. All right, Look we're gonna this. quickly go through, I know, we're gonna quickly open up this last little bit here. Now the extras that we showed you at the outset, these are more of the same. So we've got here, 
in this little package. More plastic on the floor, Charlotte. There we go. We have got some obstacles uh, here. Now these just sit, the little lips there, they actually sit on the edge uh, like this. So you've got obstacles that you have to work your way around, which is awesome. And they're completely customizable, which is fantastic. That's it, there's a slide, and then you've got this one here which creates a bit of a hole to flick your ball through as well, which is great. And then we've got uh, the ramp, which obviously connects to different pieces and creates a bit of a, a jump as well. Uh, and then you've even got a bit of a volcano that you have to try and land your ball in as well, which you can use as a hole, i.e. Uh, jumps again. Uh, and then that extra booster pack we got, which was more of the same, which gives us more building combinations and opportunities, which is awesome. All right, Charlotte's already building, Blair's already building. That is the contents of the pitch, pitch and plax box. We are going to come out, and I think what we'll do, we won't even come out. We're going to get straight into building, and we're going to have a bit of a playthrough as well uh, on our pitch and plax course. So get ready for that. All right, welcome back to the Plax Cup. We've had a couple of goes. Normal mini golf rules apply. Uh, just before we get into it though, I will be playing as the blue ball. I'll be playing as red and blue. We'll and Blair will be playing as yellow. yellow. So Charlotte, do you want to put your ball in and tee off? We will count the number of strokes and we'll see how we go. First things first, we have Charlotte going for it. When you're ready, Charlotte. That's one, what? good curve, not quite, and two. I mean, this is the tricky part, trying to get over the jump. Oh, 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 oh. three. Not quite, four. Oh, yes. straight in, good job, good job. So we'll call it five, I think, in the end. That's good, grab your ball, Charlotte. And it'll be Blair's turn. So Blair, you put your ball in. We might just slide this a little bit this way, so Blair's gonna have a bit more. I'm gonna have Blair. Here we go, ready? And Blair's turn. Go Blair, one, two. Can you pop it over? Three. We call this four, five. Um, what do we call that? Do we call that five or six? Good job, Blair, well done. All right, it is now my turn, folks. Here we go, you hold on to that one, please. I'll hold it on for you, okay? Thank you, here we go. All right, watch me fail miserably. Now go to be five, one. That is not a good start. Okay, two's good, two's good. We're gonna go three. Uh, this is the tricky part, because if I don't get it in our four, yes, I get it in four. I am the champion mini golfer of the world. This will be the only time that I win. So we'll see how we go. We're going to come back out and we'll talk about some final thoughts uh, of Pitch and Plax. And there you have it. That is Pitch and Plax, including a bit of a demo of one of the holes. That is just one of about a hundred and something different combinations. They're actually running, uh, the guys who do this Plax are actually running an Instagram campaign where they put up a hole uh, and then you have to obviously assemble the hole and try and get through as many courses as you can or in the quickest amount possible. Um, that is probably the one and only time that I will win this game because my mini golfing skills, like my dice rolling, are pretty rubbish. Um, the girls are pretty excited uh, to keep playing this one. I think uh, their jaws sort of hit the floor when we were unboxing it before. Um, what are your thoughts? Have you played uh, pitching plaques? Have you uh, played a bit of mini golf? What do you think? What sort of courses can we make? Um, if you want to know more about Pitch and Plaques, you can always hit us up on the website, www.hpgaming.com.au. Um, what do you think, girls? What do you think of Pitch and Plaques? Good. Do you like it? Something a bit different, isn't it? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're not playing anymore. I don't want you guys getting practicing. What do you think, Blair? Do you like this game? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Like you like it? You want to use the bridge and make all the jumps and everything yeah. else as well? So I think one of the other facets of this that's really good is you can make multi-layered holes and start at the top, work your way down, or work your way up with those ramps. Um, the lift we get off this ramp piece is crazy. All the outtakes for this, my goodness, there's a lot of ball chasing. Um, but I think with the different pieces, you can make quite a lengthy hole and give yourself quite a challenge, which is awesome. We are going to pack it up though, we are going to get it out again and then have a bit more of a play off camera and then uh, it's nearly time for dinner isn't it? So we'll get that sorted too. And if you want to be a part of our gamer army and become one of our gamer generals by all means you can jump on board the website address that is on your screen www.patreon.com forward slash hbgamingau and if you have any questions folks, that's alright, let it go. If you have any questions, you can hit us up on the, on email at orders at hpgaming.com.au if you have any questions for myself or Charlotte, maybe not so much for Blair. That's okay, folks. Look, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking with us. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you know whenever we post a new video. 
That's it from us though for this episode. We will see you back at the table very, very soon. Until then, it is bye for now. Say bye, Blair. Bye bye.